Paul Brunel. Hey guys. Oh. So I had a, some stuff prepared and I'm kind of glad I listened and I'm going later because I want to change what I was going to say. Um, or not change, but just alter it a little bit. Um, I've lived here for 20 years. My kids have gone through the district. Uh, they're both at Terlinda now. Um, and I know that there are people who have lived here for 20, 30, 40, 50 years who are second, third generation. Their parents, their grandparents were teachers, students, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, full disclosure, my national politics lean pretty hard to the left. So what's interesting is, is that I probably agree on a national level with a lot of people who are speaking here. It's just that on this issue, I don't. And my concern is, when I see what happened on next door last week, which there was a lot of mudslinging both ways, my concern here is that there's a wedge issue now being driven into this community that wasn't here before. I don't know what's going to happen, but it saddens me to watch this issue come up in a community that doesn't deserve to be framed in a certain way. I understand people want to seize on tr the Trump effect, right? I get it. But to try to frame that down into this community is wrong, in my opinion. That's not who we've been. We're not in some place where trucks are driving around with Yosemite Sam stickers on it, you know, firing their gun with a Confederate flag. That's not what Marinwood Terralinda is. It's not what it's ever been, from what I understand. So, do we really want to march down a road of spending potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars, or whatever it ends up being, and I, and I disagree that money's not an issue. It's an issue. We've got real problems in the school district now. We've got kids hooked on vaping and juuling in Miller Creek. My daughter said that half of the kids that she graduated from Miller Creek with are hooked on vaping and juuling. It's getting worse. Do we want to spend the money, the time, the effort on something like this, or do we want to help the kids who are there now? My opinion is we help the kids now. Noah, I don't know you, but that quote about this being a Confederate stronghold or a Confederate outpost, that's really offensive to me, and I'm a liberal. Okay, I'm a liberal, that's, a, that's offensive to me. And it's offensive to a lot of the people who grew up here and who are <laughs> second and third generation. So what I see is a lot of dividing, not uniting. And whatever happens will happen, but I really worry about this issue boiling over and becoming and a line in the sand being drawn that if you're not for this petition or you're not for this name change, you're bad. You support racism. No, please, no. Don't do that. Don't label me or anybody else as having white privilege or being racist just because I don't necessarily support the name change. Please, we have better things to be doing.